Hey everyone, in this video I want to walk you through the membership functionality available to you in Lifter LMS. So the reason that we included membership functionality in Lifter LMS is we wanted to give you the ability to restrict different parts of your site based on a membership level and also sell groups of courses to uh, create sort of like a package deal. So like a gold package, you'd get maybe five different courses. We haven't really seen that functionality available to people who are interested in learning management systems, and we wanted to make that available to you. So I'm here on the settings page, and there's a couple things you can do when you're setting up the membership functionality in Lifter LMS. The first is you wanna create a page where your membership levels will be displayed. And in the settings, you'll signify which page that is. So for us, we created a page called Memberships, and we're just telling Lifter LMS that that's our membership page, and that's where we want our member levels to be shown at. You could also restrict an entire site based on a membership level, and to do that, you would just say restrict site based on membership level, and you'd select that level. So next, I'm going to jump down into Membership, and I'm going to edit this gold level that I put in draft mode earlier. So as I jump in here, I can select... Uh, you guys can put some description text about what this level has uh, involved in it. And if you have our Infusionsoft Premium add-on, you can actually select a tag that will be applied to a member when they purchase this level. Below that, you can put a SKU and um, create some awesome payment options. So this is one of my favorite things about Lifter LMS is I could have a regular price for $100. I could put that on sale for $50, make the sale price a certain range, maybe for a month or something. Um, or what I can do is create some pretty cool reoccurring options. So if I set the re, uh, enable reoccurring payments, I could have a $50 a month subscription price and I could have it go for 12 months and that sort of thing. You can also mess with the billing frequency here and um, if you want to bill like every two months or something like that. But then you have this initial payment option. And the cool thing about the initial payment option is if you wanted to do like a $1 trial and then after a month, it starts billing people at $50 a month. So there's a lot of flexibility here and I think it's really, really cool. Um, I hope you really enjoy that because we do. Now, another thing at the bottom, there's this meta box where you can put the interval for expiration. So if you wanted to make it expire after three months, um, you could do that and you could select, you know, put three as the interval, three days, three months, three years, whatever you want to do, you can set in expiration dates on your memberships and that's very, very flexible. Now I'm going to jump over to the course that we have created here in Lifter LMS. And if I jump down here, how to build a WordPress website in a weekend, you'll see this meta box at the top right. And I can say restrict this content and unfortunately, I just forgot to publish that membership level. But if I did, it would say gold level. So I could say restrict this content to gold level individuals. And uh, this is how you would be able to sell uh, multiple courses to, or in kind of a package deal. Um, so you would just go in and select which membership level has access to those courses. And uh, if you're on another page, like a resource page, like I mentioned earlier, you could go in and select restrict that membership page or that resource page to that level. So you just use the check boxes. It's pretty straightforward. It's really simple, but also very, very powerful. I hope you've enjoyed watching this walkthrough of the membership functionality in Lifter LMS.